Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I apologize about my voice, guys. I, I'm dying. I'm dying here, guys. I've got I'm all stuffed up. I feel like shit for the past uh, two, three days. I haven't been streaming, you've noticed. Although this, this video will probably come out a, a couple of days after it was recorded. But Man, you guys know the story, right? I, I tested positive for COVID about two and a half weeks ago. And, uh, you know, I had muscle aches and fever and a little bit of sore throat for just a couple days, a couple, three days. And then recovered and just felt a little tired. It was, it was no big deal, really. It was a three, four, five day recovery. And I was out on the coast and I went to pick up my truck and I came back. And I was feeling better, ready to start working out and streaming again. And then, boom, uh, sore throat again and totally stuffed up and blowing my nose all day and oh by the way i'm playing the super chaffee here guys is it really super and i thought are you kidding and i tested myself again and i'm testing negative now so what i got a cold now the, the the cold is worse actually than what i felt two weeks ago i'm comp this is the worst cold i've had i haven't been sick for years Think about it. For the past two years, everyone's everything's been locked down. Everyone in my country has been wearing a mask. I haven't got anything. Then I get COVID, recover in three, four days. And now like a week and a half later, I've caught a cold. I haven't been in contact with anyone. i just gone to the grocery store and drove across the country, went into a couple of Tim Hortons. How the hell did I get... I don't know what's going on, but I'm a little bit on the mend. I had some pre-recorded videos that I've released the last couple of days, so this is the first one you hear my voice. And, hey, you know what? Oh, as I was driving across Canada, you see? Did you see? Did you watch the video about when I went into Tim Hortons and uh, was, I wanted my morning coffee so bad, and a, a little tiny sparrow flew into the s store, and then they wanted to close it down, and they said, "Everyone out! We're shutting down. There's a bird in here." And I said, what are you, nuts? Yeah, I'm not leaving. I want my coffee. And the girl with the broom and the, the bucket came out. She says, well, no, we have. To, there's a bird here. I have to catch the bird. I can't serve you. And I looked at her and I, and I said, you can't. You're not going to catch a bird. And she said, yes, I am. And I looked at her. She's got a broom and a bucket. I said, you're not going to catch a bird. Like, have you ever caught a bird before? And she just kind of. Her eyes bulged out, and she thought about it for a second, like looking at her broom and bucket, and probably realized, like, how the hell is she gonna do? And she, she said, "No." <laughs> so they gave me my coffee anyway and a breakfast sandwich, and I was on my way. And I suggested, you know, just leave the door open, and the bird will fly out. It's a tiny little sparrow, right? Like, holy shit! And uh, I, if you guys. Watch that video if you want to hear the whole story. I'll leave a link in the top right corner. And you guys had a lot of hilarious comments in the comment section about that video. Lots of hilarious comments. It was, uh, <laughs> it was fun to read them. But there were a couple. <laughs> there were a couple that were accused me of being a Karen. <laughs> and accused me of being in the wrong. And that it was a very... Uh, it was a very... Uh, precarious situation and the staff was doing the right thing and that was, you know it could have been a disaster and people could have been sued and uh, they have to follow health regulations and all that kind of stuff and that I should have taken it more seriously I'm talking about a bird guys a bird flew into Tim Hortons uh, not a seagull you know not a mallard duck a tiny three ounce sparrow <laughs> Who just went and was perched up on the rafters and would probably leave. I gotta read you a comment, guys. I gotta read you a comment that was left in that. Video. Let's just finish off this game. Let's ram this guy. Arr! Okay, take it, take it. You want? You like it like that? Huh? You like it like that? Oh, I know. You like it like that. Oh yeah. I can't do it. What my? <laughs> How long was that? Four minutes and two seconds. This was the fastest ace tanker I've ever had. Cut, cut, cut. Hold on. We'll, we'll listen to the music at the end. Let's watch a more interesting game. Much harder game. Guys, check out this comment that was left uh, on my uh, bird video. 
And uh, remember, link to that video is in the top right corner of the screen. Let's read the comment. I get that you are caffeine deprived and hungry, but they have to contend with health regulations. If they served someone and the bird defecated in it, then they'd have issues with the local health board or equivalent, as well as run the risk of getting sued. Mocking the girl also wasn't helpful. You'd have been better off if you'd advised her to contact animal control or the local equivalent as they're used to dealing with situations like this. That was what was going through my mind in the morning when I needed my coffee and I walked into Tim Hortons and a tiny sparrow flew in and the little girl that was working there said she had to shut down the Tim Hortons and I would not be able to get my coffee. That's exactly what I was thinking is that I should phone animal control. Now wait, maybe, maybe this person that left a comment on my video might have been confused. You might not have heard the story, but I, it wasn't an escaped rhinoceros from the zoo who barreled down the street and smashed into the Tim Hortons and was running rampant, impaling people in the establishment with its horn. It wasn't that. It wasn't a saber-toothed tiger that was stalking pedestrians in the park. Uh, it, it, it wasn't a situation like that where maybe animal control would have been uh, a, a reasonable, or a SWAT team might have been something that we call. It was a small sparrow that fluttered in and perched up on the rafters. This tiny little sparrow. Perhaps it was getting ready to defecate in my breakfast sandwich. Like, are you kidding me? Call animal control? What has happened to the world? I, and I know, I, I respect your comment. And yes, uh, you know, I needed my coffee and I was, uh, I was uh, mourning Karen Grumpy. And I, I, uh, I gave the girl a hard time for a few, and It's the real fucking world, okay? I gave her a little bit of a hard time. I said, I'm not leaving, I want my coffee. I'm not gonna leave because there's a tiny bird up there. The coffee's brewed. Just pour it in the cup and give it to me. What's the, like, have you never been on a picnic? Uh, we're gonna go on a picnic, dear. Let's pack some drinks and food. We'll bring a blanket, we'll go to the park, all right? And we'll lay the blanket out in the park and we'll have a sandwich and uh, something to drink. Uh, this, isn't this romantic, honey? Oh wait, look, look up there on the tree. There's a bird! Honey, we're having a picnic, there's a bird. Quick, somebody, call animal control! Like, are you freaking kidding me? What has happened with humans that we are so helpless that we can't, uh... Oh my god, it's a sparrow! Like, no, what happens when you go camping? Like, and you got, or... There's nature! There's nature among us! Like, holy shit, maybe you should phone animal control. Bring. Hello? Hello? Who's this? This is animal control. Oh, I'm so glad I caught you. Um, I'm at, uh, there's an emergency. I'm trying to get my morning coffee at Tim Hortons, but I can't get served because a sparrow has entered the premises. What? A sparrow has entered the premises? Yes, yes, what can I do? Hold, hold on, hold on. Let me transfer you to an appropriate animal control agent. Uh, we have 22 agent, agents standing by, all collecting uh, government salaries, waiting to serve you. Um, hold on. The, here, I'll let you speak to Agent Smith. Hello, this is Agent Smith. What, what's the problem? There's a sparrow uh, in the Tim Hortons here, and I can't get my coffee. Oh, a sparrow in the Tim Hortons. I see, I see. Um, let me uh, form a task force. We'll get a couple of trucks out there, and we'll get uh, all. Uh, I'll get a party of seven or eight uh, deputy agents, and and agents and senior members, and a supervisor. Uh, among the seven of us, uh, we collect uh, eight hundred forty-three thousand dollars a year in government uh, taxpayer salaries. We'll be there. Um, uh, and let me. I I ask you first before we uh, we send out the team. Perhaps you could try this. Uh, if, if you look outside, sir, do you see anything large and heavy? Perhaps a rock? Do you, do you notice that there's a rock around? Yeah, yeah, I, outside there's like a rock. There's rocks everywhere. 
Well, try this, sir. Perhaps you could pick up a rock and use that rock to uh, prop the door open. What? What? If you, if you prop the door open, we've noticed, we've done lots of study on this. We uh, did, did a government subsidized study for the past three years where we, uh, we studied this uh, for the cost of $55 million of taxpayers' money. And we've determined that in situations like this, uh, there is a 78% chance of success that by propping a door open with a rock uh, and waiting for a period of about 20 minutes, uh, that the sparrow may, on his own accord, fly out of the store. Perhaps we could try that. Like, holy shit! I don't know why <laughs> that comment just got... It just made me think, like, what? And I want to I want to hear the comments from you guys in the comment section. If you were just walk into a coffee shop, okay, a big one, not a tiny one, a big one, high ceilings, it was a big, airy, nice place. If you walk into a coffee shop and you're going to get yourself a coffee, that's that's brewed, by the way. And the person, you, you know, you, you're next in line and you're ready to go up there and get your coffee. If someone comes out with a broom and a bucket and says to you, I'm sorry, you have to leave. You can't have your coffee and we can't serve you because there's a bird. A small sparrow has entered the shop. Would you leave? Would, would you just say, oh, <laughs> okay, well, boy, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you, s I'm glad that you caught that and that you decided not to serve me my, the coffee I wanted. Because, whew, I, I dodged a big one there. Thanks for, for kicking me out. Because, you know, I could have had a coffee. Uh, or you could have poured my coffee and while that bird was up there. Would, how many of you would, uh, would have actually just... I, I want to know, okay? Am, am, I, am I like a... Am I the idiot? Am I, the, am I just uh, some weirdo? <laughs> no, don't answer that. Am I, uh... Did I react inappropriately? <laughs> I want to know. I want honest answers from you. How many of you would have just said okay and left without your... Co yeah, there's categories, I think. So I think a lot of people that don't like confrontation and want it to be polite would have probably just said, oh, okay, and, and left, done what they were told. But not been happy about it. Like, what the f I couldn't even get a coffee. Why the hell didn't I get my, you know, complained about it afterwards? Well, I gotta go to one, gotta drive to another Tim Hortons. You know, they're wasted 20 minutes. Right? Some people would have um, done what they were told and then been uh, upset about it. So some of you are like that. Some people would have said, oh, well, so thanks for letting us know. Boy, I, I sure don't want to buy a coffee from a Tim Hortons that has a bird flying around in it. Some of you are like that. And some of you would have said, what, are, are, you, are you not just give me my coffee? Open the door, the bird will fly out. Like, what's the big deal? Like, grow up. That's, that's the category I'm in. Like, this girl that was holding the broom with her nails and her fancy shoes. And she's never, ever left the city. Okay? She was born and has never... She's never been, like... She has never even been in the woods. She hasn't been on a nature walk or she, she, she's never seen a, a like a fly or a mosquito or a, a butterfly flying around. She, the only nature she's ever seen is like if she watched the movie Jumanji. And she thinks it's all terrifying. I don't know. Like she needs to get out. She needs to have a taste. As a matter of fact, I... I think it would be even better if, the, if Tim Hortons opened some stores that were open air. You know, in the summer, open air coffee shops with fucking birds everywhere. And parrots. And, and, and animals that make you feel at home. I think it would be a... What? How have we digressed to this? How... Uh, Patience, patience is all you need. We did it. 
Ram Noyan, thanks for subscribing. It's over. The struggle. The struggle is over. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we got it. How do we we have to celebrate? La 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 Cameroon Joe gifting us up. Alright guys. Ha! Three marks, ace tanker. We only did 826 damage, but we did 1994 assist. Musica! Musica! Nine minutes and 39 seconds. And for that, I lost credits. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, that's good, that's good. I'm happy about that. So play an American tank while wearing German fatigues is how it works. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, we did it. We did it.